Hi everybody, Dave Winder here on GoRacers.com at OVC Basketball Media Day in Evansville with Athletics Director Kevin Saul. Lots going on today and we encourage you to look at the other videos that we've got on GoRacers.com with Coach Turner and Coach McMahon as well as it's a big day to to get the basketball season going, Kevin. This it is. is exciting stuff. Absolutely. We're here in Evansville at uh, the Doubletree Hotel and just outside the Ford Center and it's a great morning. Appreciate what you guys do. The coverage today is going to be exciting. And uh, we've got all our basketball coaches and ADs here, and uh, it's a fun time. It almost feels like March. A, a little bit. And, you know, the, the racer fans are very excited to be back here uh, again in mm -hmm. March. And those exact dates are March 4th through the 7th at the Ford Center. Uh, the racer fans had just came out in numbers. You know, you had just gotten hired when, you, when mm -hmm. we went to the tournament last March. And... Uh, it was an amazing thing. It really was. Over 10,000 for that championship game. Yeah, so to set a, uh, an all-time single game um, attendance record in the semifinal versus Jacksonville State at 8,600 or what have you, and then to turn around and beat it by another 25% yeah. at 10-5 uh, for the finals was just a tremendous time. And uh, it's been an exciting time for me and my family to be a part of that. And, and um, you know, we're excited to be here in Evansville. Uh, the city of Evansville has done a fantastic job rolling out the red carpet for us. Um, and you'll see that today. Uh, but you also see it in March. And the league just announced here about a month ago um, an extended relationship with Evansville. So we'll have the, the last of, of three years of the original agreement is this March. And then we've got another agreement that is a um, guaranteed three with, right. a, with a potential for four. So um, we're looking at a guaranteed four, potential five years uh, in Evansville. And it's been a great home for us. It, it's a great place to play. We talk about student athlete experience. It, it doesn't get any better than what we've seen in the two years at Evansville. So the racer teams, uh, Coach Coach Turner and Coach McMahon, their staffs have grown, Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, Ron Rico White has been added as Director of Player Development, and Mike Chapman has been added as Video Director for both teams. That's right. And then Ashley Southern has been added to the women's team as Director of Basketball Ops. Yeah, that's right. When you look at... Um just our administrative support and coaching support of our student athletes, that's incredibly important for us. So to have some individuals of the caliber of Ashley and Ronrico and, and Chapman taking on those critical roles um, for, for our programs, it allows our coaches to do what we want them to do, which is coach and develop players and recruit and those sort of things. And so uh, those staff additions have been very helpful um, for our programs. I look forward to working with those guys this year. And we're looking forward to the uh, exhibition doubleheader on March the f or November the 4th. Mm -hmm. uh, the ladies have Georgetown College of Kentucky coming into play, and the men are going to play Martin Methodist. So we'll get it we'll get it rolled out. But that's after uh, Racer Mania on Thursday night. That's right. I'm looking forward to my first Racer Mania. It's uh, I just happened to walk through the uh, the script and uh -huh. and timing and production for that event. And that'll be a great event. So we encourage Racer Nation to be there um, Thursday, October 24th for. Uh, for Racer Mania, but also as we turn our attention towards basketball season on November 4th, it's incredibly important. You've heard Coach McMahon talk about it, and, and I share the sentiment is that we pick up where we left off uh, last year in terms of just unbelievable fan support um, for this program. It's an exciting team. We had an opportunity to go to the Bahamas and watch this team uh, practice and compete um, in a foreign tour, which is an opportunity for um, <clears throat> a program once every four years to, to, to spend time with 10 or 12 practices and, and we competed three times. It was an exciting time to watch our team mold and gel and, and Racer Nation will see an advanced uh, team with that respect, having the opportunity to do that. Well, and then uh, we, we've got exciting news about the, the old floor at the CFSB Center. Uh, so many things have happened on it and we're going to take that floor up, we're going to cut it up into pieces and our fans will have a chance to to get a piece of the floor so we got a new floor coming in that's right and new baskets yeah absolutely so um, we're excited about the floor project I think anything that anytime you can take a piece of history and get it right. into the hands of racer nation is is exciting so it is a uh, by last count, I think it's a nine-time OVC championship floor. Uh, we've had three draft picks and three or four incredible coaches on there. Uh, we're working hard to get uh, a, a digital print that can actually be adhered over the top of that floor for folks that want to, uh, that have the autographs of those players and those coaches. So it could be a really nice keepsake, particularly as we approach the holiday season for folks. Um, and we'll have more information that comes out with that. We'll send out a release uh, with the website URL on, in terms of where you can go claim those pieces 
and you know we'll have the, the larger pieces available too the the, the oh, logos yeah. the end line murray states and then that yeah. center logo for for yeah, the, somebody that the wants free throw to lanes. yeah yeah somebody that wants to to floor their entire house we well, could probably we, make that happen yeah we, we certainly you certainly could <laughs> so that'll be uh, coming very very soon you need to check goracers.com for more information on that uh, but kevin real quickly i know you've got meetings this morning here at the double tree hotel with your fellow ad's just a word quickly about what the league is doing to increase mm -hmm. the visibility of men's basketball so we spent um a fair bit of time yesterday diving into the metrics on all of last year's numbers, right? Strength of schedules, um, just the, the the predictive measures, um, the uh, the data and the analytics in terms of, of performance of each of our teams. And we had a unique opportunity to have an individual that, that helps run the KPI, um, which is a, a predictive measure, come in and talk to us about some strategies with scheduling and those sort of things. And, and what that was was to, to the, the intent was to help us really infor make informed decisions about what we do moving forward. We all know that uh, two teams in the NCAA tournament was, was a first for us last year, and what we want to do is capitalize on that. And the first and so, since 1987. That's right. So we want to capitalize on that. There are there is a financial windfall to the league for that, and we want to make the, the smartest strategic investments um, in our programs, whether that be in scheduling, personnel, facilities, what have you. What, where will we get the most bang for our buck so that we can work in, in effort to repeat that as we move forward? So we spend a lot of time in that. Um, we met all day yesterday and had a full agenda, and we'll meet about half of the day today uh, on various topics. But it's a, it's a great opportunity for some, some some really smart people, much smarter than I am, to get in a room and, and, and talk about where we want this thing to go in future years. Well, we're glad that you're in that room and you're in there representing Murray State. Kevin, thanks for thanks, take, taking a few minutes to, uh, to stop by. Uh, Athletics Director Kevin Saul here from OVC Basketball Media Day on GoRacers.com.